Yo, what is up guys? Brandon here from Red Black Productions, and today I'm gonna teach you how to stabilize your video in Final Cut Pro 10. So let's go ahead and play our video. So as you can tell, this is a video of my little R2-D2 Bop It toy, where I filmed using a camera which I handheld to do this. Now as you can tell already, the camera it's very shaky, my hand was not steady, and it was just wobbly, and the quality it just it didn't seem very good. So to change that, let's go and stabilize it. So stabilizing in Final Cut Pro, there are two methods. The first method is the stabilizing method. So to do that, let's go ahead and click our video. Now we go on the top right hand panel over here and make sure in the inspector window and make sure we click video. Now we scroll down until we see stabilization. So we go and highlight that by clicking on this square over here. Now we click on stabilization we can choose the method. I usually like to choose method, I mean sorry, I usually like to choose automatic or smooth cam since they're pretty much do the same thing. I'm not really sure about inertia cam, but I'm just gonna keep, uh, keep this at automatic. Now let's go and play around with the translation smooth. This pretty much is the scaling of the stabilization zoom. So as you can tell, if I increase this, it's zooming up a little bit more. Now the key is that when you zoom in more on your footage, the stabilizing is more likely to be a lot smoother. But I wouldn't recommend it as you are zooming in on your video, so a lot of quality is lost and you're not getting the full frame. So let's go and drop it back to, let's say 0.8. All right. Now let's go to the rotation smooth. This is the, as well, it's also the uh, zooming in of the rotation. So as you can tell, if we make this bigger, it's rotating ever so slightly. This pretty much makes it smoother. So the more rotation, the more um, smoother our stabilization will be, will be. So let's let's leave it at 1.69. And the scale smooth, this pretty much is similar to the translation smooth, but it's the scaling of our video. So if we Move it up. The video gets zoomed in, but let's keep it. Let's keep it at 1.65. So let's go and play back our video. So as you can tell, our video is a whole lot smoother. Although it is dropping a few frames and it is lagging quite a bit, but that's because I didn't properly play around with all of these. But that's pretty much how to stabilize your video using the first method of stabilization. Now for the second method, retime method. So to do that, let's go and select our video. Now we go on this retime button over here and go to slow. Now under slow, we're gonna make sure we set it to 50%. Now that it's slowed down at 50%, we're gonna go ahead and click on this retime button over here, go to custom, and we're gonna change it to 70%. Now that it's 70% slow, once again, we're going to click on the retime button, go to video quality, and choose optical flow. Now let's go and play this back. So as you can tell, what this method does, it pretty much, it slows down the video just a little bit to cover up the fact that it's very shaky. So this is, this is a, another method of stabilization that's works well depending on how you shoot your footage. Either if you're not using too many twists and turns, like you're just doing a solid pan down or curve up, then I'd recommend the retime button. But if you're doing a lot of uh, moving around, like uh, filming parkour videos or sports videos, I would recommend the stabilization video. So that's pretty much how to stabilize your video in Final Cut Pro 10. Feel free to like this video, give us a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!